In this video, I'll show you five different ways to make a French cleat without a table saw. The first method is with a circular saw. I'm using plywood to make the cleats. After placing the material on top of some sacrificial surface, fix masking tape over the intended cut line to prevent splinters. Begin by selecting the angle for the French cleat. Any double cut with an angle between 30 degrees to 4 to 5 degrees is fine for making the French cleat. In this example, we'll be cutting a 4 to 5 degree angle with the circular saw for the French cleat. First, measure the offset of the saw blade from the edge of the base plate. Transfer the offset onto the plywood. Using the edge of the wood as a reference, set the blade depth. Clamp a level or a speed square at the offset point to guide the circular saw in a straight line. Align the blade with the cut line. When the edge of the blade touches the offset point, the blade will fall on the cut line correctly. Begin cutting through the material and complete the cut. Remove the masking tape after. Now your French cleat is finished and ready to be used. The second method is by using a jigsaw. Draw the cut line using a pencil. Tilt the base of the jigsaw to make an angle of 4 to 5 degrees. Clamp the wood on the table along with the straight edge or table for guiding the jigsaw. Begin cutting with the jigsaw. Remember to be slow and careful as the blade can flex or even break if you force it through. Ensure you apply plenty of pressure towards the fence so the blade doesn't change course or veer off the cut line. Here's the French cleat completed with the jigsaw. The next method is by using a miter saw. Adjust the miter saw blade to a 45 degree angle. Begin by placing the wood on the bed of the miter saw. Draw the cut lines using a speed square and pencil. I made the 4 to 5 degree cut lengthwise first. Now set the miter saw back to square, rotate the wood by 90 degrees and place the wood on the bed. Now make a second cut to separate the pieces. The fourth method is by using a band saw. Begin by placing the wood on the bed of the bandsaw. Measure and mark the cut line onto the plywood using a speed square and a pencil. Remember to set the fence on the side that's lower. Tilt the bed of the bandsaw to 4 to 5 degrees. Turn on the bandsaw and slowly slide the wood onto the bandsaw blade. With this the French cleat is made. The fifth and final method is by using a handsaw. Using a speed square and a pencil draw a 4 to 5 degree angle mark on the wood's edge at your desired length. Once both edges are marked, join them so that you have a straight line for reference while cutting. Clamp the wood on a bench vise. If you don't have a bench vise, clamp the material on the side of your work table using a quick grip clamp. Using a utility knife, scour the wood's edge to give the hand saw some seating while beginning the cut. With one hand, gripping the hand saw and the other firmly on the wood, saw the wood vertically along the cut line. Flip the wood and continue finishing the cut. It's not perfect, but that's a French cleat made using just a handsaw. If you found this video useful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.